In this clip, we will demonstrate why tens complement multiplication gives us an accurate result. We're going to multiply 7 times 8, we're going to get 56. The tens complement of 7 is 3. The tens complement of 8 is 2. I'm going to write 7 as 10 minus 3 and 8 as 10 minus 2. Do the binomial multiplication now. 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times minus 2 is minus 20. Minus 3 times 10 is minus 30. Minus 3 times a minus 2 is a plus 6. So if we multiply, this will be open fingers, three of them when it's a 7, and two of them when it's an 8. So 3 times 2 is 6. We get this plus 6, the ones place. Now, if there's three fingers open, there must be two closed. If there's two fingers open, there must be three closed. So if we add the closed fingers, 2 plus 3, we get a 5, and that's the tens place. Multiplying the open fingers, we get the 6. Adding the closed fingers, we get the 5, the tens place, and the ones place. So it is 56. Start with closed fists. Do is 7 times 7. Start with the right hand. It already is 7. And so when I start my count, I want to count up to 10. So I'm going to start my count at 8, then 9, then 10. Three fingers extended. The reason that 3 is a tens complement of 7 is because 7 and 3 are 10. All right, I want to multiply 7 times 7. 8, 9, and then the thumb, 10. Three fingers extended on each hand. And the rule for tens complement multiplication is this. Multiply the open fingers, and that'll be the ones place. Add the closed fingers, and be the tens place. So I have 3 times 3, and that's 9, and that'll be the ones place. I add the closed fingers, so I have 2 in my right hand and 2 in my left hand, and 2 and 2 is 4, and 4 is the tens place. So 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 8. This is already 7. This is a 7. I make it an 8, tens complement of 8. So I would say 9, 10. These two hands, the way they are, represent 7 times 8. Multiply the open fingers, 3 on this hand and 2 on this hand. 3 times 2 is 6. That's the ones place. Count the closed fingers. In my right hand, there's 2. And in my left hand, there's 3. 2 and 3 is 5. So 7 times 8 is 56. 8 times 8. I'm going to turn this down, and my count will be, you know, starting out closed fists, my count would be 9, 10. Because 8 and 2 are 10, so I have two extended fingers and two extended fingers. Now it represents 8 times 8. So I'm going to multiply the open fingers, 2 times 2, that's a 4, that's the ones place. And then I'm going to add the closed fingers. Right hand, I have three closed fingers. Left hand, I have three closed fingers. Three and three is six. So eight times eight is 64. Eight times nine. This is already nine. And I want to make this an eight. So I want to put those two down. And this represents nine, 10. So this represents eight times nine. So I'm going to multiply the open fingers, 1 times 2, so 2 is the ones place. Add the closed fingers, and I get 4 on this side, right, and I get 3 on this side, and 4 and 3 is 7, so 8 times 9 is 72. Yeah, just one more, 9 times 9. This is already a 9, so there it is, 9 and 1 is 10, the tens complement. 
multiply 1 times 1, I get a 1, that's the 1's place. And then I would add, in my right hand I have 4 closed fingers, in my left hand I have 4 closed fingers. 4 and 4 is 8, so 9 times 9 is 81 using tens complement multiplication.